Hi, I'm Zoe and I'm an instructor at the Deneen Fine Arts Center. Today I'll be showing you how I draw a portrait from life. In this video, I'll be using charcoal and chalk pastels on newsprint. As you can see, I'm starting with a gesture and chalk pastel. I've chosen a light color because I'll be drawing over top of it in charcoal later. At this point, I'm just focusing on the big basic shapes and working mainly in straight lines. The idea is to go from general to more specific as the drawing progresses. The main things I'm looking for in this gesture is the placement of the head on the page, the direction and the shape of the head, the center line, the brow bone, and the jaw line. As you can see, I've also drawn in the shape of the eye orbits, the angle of the nose, the mouth, the shoulders, and the shape of the hair. Typically, I spend no more than about two minutes on the gesture. The gesture can also be a good way to place your subject on the page. If you're not quite happy about where the portrait is on the page, you can always erase and redraw it. The key to a good portrait drawing is having accurate proportions. I use a piece of string in order to check my proportions. I'm drawing a box around the drawing of the head in order to check the width to height ratio. I then hold the string up to my model and see what the actual ratio would be. In this drawing, it looks to be about one to one and a quarter, and I've adjusted the height of my drawing slightly to reflect this. Another good reference point is the brow bone. I measure with my string from the top of my model's hair to the eyebrow and see that this distance compared to the head is about a one to two and a half ratio. Keep in mind that the proportions of a person's head will be affected by, of course, who they are, as well as how they are tilting their head and where you're standing in relation to them. Something to note when measuring your subject is that your arm should be fully extended. If not, your measurements can be off. During the course of this drawing, you'll see me stepping out of the frame a lot. This is because I can assess my drawing better from far away, particularly with respect to the proportions. So right now you can see I'm continuing to put in um, some different proportions. I'm using a charcoal pencil right now, and this is typically a 2B or a 4B at this stage. Here you can see I'm just darkening and refining my lines a little bit to make them clearer to see. So after this, I'll pick up my charcoal stick. I prefer to use a 6B because it's very soft. I like to turn the charcoal stick on its side in order to block in the large shadows that I see on the face. I'm really just thinking about two values at this point, light and dark. If you have a hard time seeing these values and these shadow shapes, try squinting or even taking off your glasses and that can really help you.
So after I've captured those major dark shadows on the face, I'll switch back to my charcoal pencil as you can see now. I'm looking for more nuance in the values at this point, so I'm starting to darken some areas a bit. I'm also going back in and refining some of those edges of the shadows that I had drawn with the charcoal stick earlier. You can see that I'm now creating the rough shape of the eye, trying not to get into too much detail. I'm also assessing the angle of the eyes. In this case, the eyes lined up pretty much horizontally from my perspective, so that was good. As I continue on this drawing, you'll see me using my eraser to carve out the highlights. I like to think of my eraser as an additional mark making tool in this way. You'll notice that I just drew a line from the tear duct of the eye on the left. This will almost always line up with the edge of the nose, so that can be a really important landmark to refer to in your drawing. I'm also going back to my string to make sure I've got the bottom of the nose in the right place. And this drawing, the distance from the chin to the bottom of the nose is about a third of the entire head. As I'm moving forward on this drawing, you can see that I'm continuing to refine the values both by darkening the areas and erasing to create highlights, as I said before. I'm spending a good deal of time on the eyes because I'm struggling to get the shape just right. I'm pretty confident in my proportions at this point though, so I feel like I can spend more time on some of the details.
So when I move on to the hair, I'm focusing on the shapes of the shadows that fall onto the hair and not the strands of hair. I'm jumping around to different areas of the head, trying to think about the areas that need the most improvement. When I'm drawing from life, I like to think about it as a problem to solve. You can see that I'm looking at my model quite a bit. When you're, whenever you're drawing from life, it's really good to spend as much time looking at your model as possible. And that way you'll be able to draw what you see instead of what you know. For this drawing, I'm not using a bunch of different weights of charcoal pencils, mainly just 2B and 4B. I find that I can get a good range of values just by the pressure that I apply to the pencil itself. I'm working a little bit on the collar here, but I haven't put too much time into the shirt in general. I like to provide more of just a rough idea of the shirt so that I don't just have a head floating in space. Although I do like to spend the most time on the head because it is a portrait drawing after all. As I continue with this drawing, I'm looking more and more closely at the different areas of the face and I'm picking up on a greater range of values as I go on. You can see that I like to start fairly light and darken the shadows as I go.
One of the final touches for my drawing is the white highlights in chalk pastel. Because I'm working on newsprint, which has a light gray tone to it, the highlights can really stand out. I think the highlights add a lot of life to the drawing. I make sure that when I'm doing the highlights um, that I draw on areas without any charcoal because I don't want the white charcoal to, um, or sorry, the white chalk to mix with the charcoal. Unfortunately, the video is a bit out of focus here, but I'm basically just using the white in the lightest areas that I see on the model. The finished portrait drawing. This one took about 45 minutes in real time, just to give you an idea.